good day to you wherever you are um, if this is the first time here in this channel my name is joseph i am a microsoft certified trainer i have received a few words from people requesting that i make a video on auto attendance in microsoft teams for those of us who do not know what auto attendant is an auto attendant is that automatic voice that robot voice that you hear uh, when you call into organization that says press 1 for sales, press 2 for support, press 3 for general inquiries. So today I want to show you how you could um, get that set up in your organization. So the way you do that is to come to um, the Teams Admin Center uh, by typing in admin.teams.microsoft.com. Let me just go home to the dashboard. You see that the URL here is admin.teams.microsoft.com. All right. So when you find yourself here, the first thing you do is to uh, is to come down to voice. When you scroll down here, you see voice. Usually it will be this way. So you can drop it down to see the hidden icons there. So the first thing you do is to create a resource account. So clicking on this, I'm going to create a resource account. So that's going to load for me to create a resource account. Let me add the resource account. And then I'm going to call the name of the resource account Pillars AA. All right. So the email address is going to be Pillars AA at uh, the domain.com. Now, the resource account type is going to ask me to either choose call queue or auto attendant. But for the purpose of this, I'm going to use auto attendant. So I'll save. All right. So when this saves, the second stage that you need to, uh, the second steps you need to carry out is to visit the admin center, the admin console here. Go to home, just refresh, right? Uh, you know, this is actually admin.microsoft.com. You know, if you come back to this, that user, Pillars AA that you created, is going to be found under your active users right but it's going to be uh, a dummy user a disabled user a user who cannot sign into teams so if i do pillars aa is going to bring this guy up and then i'll click on this you find out that it is blocked sign in now you need to give this user a license and the only license required for this to function for the auto attendant is phone system resource account now how do i get that license i will come back to i'll come to purchase services and then i will i will look for i will search for phone system resource account from here if i do not have it it's actually free so you could just search for it and you will see it listed but i have it so i will go to uh, my product your products just to confirm that i have the license all right, so that's going to load up in a G film. Oh, pom, pom, pom. Yeah, here we go. So this is the this is the license I need. Microsoft Teams phone resource account is what I have to assign to that user, that domain user. So I'm going to come back to active users. Active users. Okay, so when it loads, I look for my user again. Okay, so I go to that user. Excuse me, one L is missing. Okay. All right, so I'm going to click on this. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I click on licenses and apps. I scroll down. And then I'm going to see um, Microsoft Teams phone resource account. This is the only license that is required at this point. So I'm going to click on save. All right, so you have changed, your changes have been saved. So now let's go back to the Teams Admin Center now that we've given license to that user. Let's refresh this admin console, Teams Admin Console. So now that it is um, fully refreshed, the next thing I want to do is to assign a phone number to this account, that phone number that people are going to call in to get the call routed. But you must know that the phone number that is going to be assigned to this account is not a user number. Okay, it must have to be a service number. So how do you know a service number from a user number, right? 
Now, this is a list of the phone numbers provided by Microsoft. For me, being that they are all calling plan phone number, not direct routing. Now, the ones that are bearing user number, you know, these are for users, all right? Now, let's scroll down. The ones you see voice apps, conference voice app, this one is a service number, okay? All these are service numbers. The ones that are having conference voice app are service numbers, okay? The reason I'm saying this is because when you want to purchase the phone numbers, you should select the option of service number, okay? Not user number. Haven't said that, let's go back to the resource accounts. Now, coming here, we click on this. We just check this and we do assign on assign. Now, phone number type, we are going to do calling plan, okay? Because of course, all the numbers we have are all Microsoft. So all these numbers you have here, are all service numbers populated for us so we are going to select this one you know as the phone number to be assigned so we just click on save so it's going to assign that phone number to that resource account now having done this so the first thing first of all is for you to create the resource account license the resource account give it uh, a phone number right these are just the three steps we've taken so far i just want to refresh to confirm that i have that number assigned to pillars aa okay still propagating but we can move on it's going to come soon so uh the next thing you want to do is to click back here and then you go back to voice now you scroll down you scroll down to um auto attendance here and then what you can do is to click on add okay let's now call it pillars concepts that is the name of the auto attendant plus concepts uh, concepts okay so set an auto attendant um you can let's just do a uh, person in my organization for now let me just route the call to myself mind you the person you are you are going to assign to this uh, if you're going to add somebody in your organization it must be somebody who is enterprise voice enabled what it means is that it must be somebody who has phone number assigned to him who can make voice call in microsoft teams now let's select the time zone. I am in UTC plus one. So let me just quickly put that. Yeah, West Central Africa. And then the language, of course, I want to leave it at English. And then I will do next. Okay, so play greeting message. If I want to play audio file, right, the file has to be less than five um, has to be less than five megabytes right so let me put this one that is just 1.39 open it and put it there i could also put greeting message right okay so that's that i just want us to have a file music file updated to this and then call routing option we can decide to you know play menu option now So let's now say, uh, let's add a sign key. Let's say, um, okay, before we do this, right, we must have to, let's add this, right? Let's add this. I think I have something written down somewhere here. Yeah, let me see. Okay, so for this right top, it is saying that uh, thank you for contacting me last concept we are going to you today for sales press one so we are going to do same here so we are going to do one for sales and then we are going to bring uh, the team or the individual that is in charge of sales let's just give everything to person in my organization for now 
and um, that person should just be me for now because I'm the only one enterprise voice enabled in this tenant. All right, so to me, then two for inquiries, so two for general inquiries. So we can just add another die, die key and then two for general inquiries. So the agents that you want should be in charge of the call for general inquiries. You are going to you can also do external phone number and all of that so you can try this out but let's just stick to using one person for the purpose of this demo i want to also bring myself because i am the only one that is enterprise voice enabled in this tenant so having set this so the user is going to hear thank you for calling this press one for support press two for general inquiries okay now that is set um okay so we do next okay so this is for us to set after call out you can decide to this is just 24 hour service you can decide now to set it to for your office to open by eight and then close by five and thereafter anyone who calls in should either receive a message or you know get um music being played throughout you can set all this out this is after after our setting right set up after call our flow okay so that's for that uh, you could set this out also so let's just do next okay so having done this this is for you to set up holidays greeting is in case there is holiday for christmas for other holidays that generally new year's holiday that people will not be around so you could put that you can set that up as well now having done this you can look at all these whatever changes you want to make you can make it but what i just want us to do is to bring that auto attend that's a resource account that we just created right and we have added this phone number to so we kind of click on add and then it's here so the last at the last point is where you add the resource account right this number is the number that users are going to call but let's just um let's go on for now this is the phone number right so let's do submit okay great so we will now do submit let's now get that phone number that uh, is being assigned to this user let's try and call what we have set up let's see if it is now working okay so let's come down to resource account and get the phone number okay resource accounts voice resource accounts all right so this is the phone number that is now assigned to that auto attendant i just want us to be able to copy it this way to ending with two zero let's come here and let's paste that phone number here two zero so listen to what's going to happen Thank you for calling Pillars Concepts, where we are committed to helping businesses reach new heights. For sales, press 1. For support, press 2. For all other inquiries.
okay so you can see where we got to so let's now find out that write-up and see what is there by coming down to uh because there's an unfinished statement there let's go back to auto attendance all right uh pillars concept is what we gave that auto attendant let's look at the greeting message that was given there this is the music that played and then okay thank you for calling pillars concept where, where we are committed to helping business reach their height for sales press one for support press two for general inquiries press zero let's just do press zero and then uh, press zero and then we can decide to come down here and also add another die key let's add another die key and give it zero and still bring up an agent who is going to take the general inquiries so uh person in my organization and let's still put joseph for that right i'm feeling i should remove this music it sounds so loud and um let's just um do no greeting let it just come in straight up okay so let's just submit from here and let's go back and dial that number and let's see the difference that's going to be there we've included some other terms here right press zero for gen for general inquiries press zero so let's go back here i think we still have that number here two zero let's now call discover that that number is not going to that music is not going to play again Thank you for calling Pillars Concepts, where we are committed to helping businesses reach new heights. For sales, press 1. For support, press 2. For all other inquiries, press 0. So that is how the, the user is going to click on Diapad and is going to press the number here. The call is going to be routed to the user. But Thank you for calling Pillars Concepts. But where we are committed to helping businesses reach new heights. If I press one, for sale, then it's going to be routing the call. Please wait while your call is being transferred. Back to me, right? So I'm going to be put on hold because the call is still coming back to ring me. In that I set myself up to receive this call back from the caller, right? So this is how to set up auto attendance in Microsoft Teams. So in summary, you create a resource account. You license the resource accounts with a phone system resource accounts, and then you come to um, Teams uh, Admin Center. You obtain a service number, auto attendance service number. You assign it to the auto, to, I mean, to the resource account, and then you create the auto attendant and bring in the resource account to the auto attendant. Set it up to flow the way you want it to flow, and you will enjoy using auto attendant. I hope I was able to pass a message across with this one. If you have any queries uh, regarding this topic, you can hit me up. I'll be happy to be of assistance to you. Uh, if you need to, if you have any inquiries regarding Microsoft 365 product and services, I am available on LinkedIn all the time. If you send me, uh, if you send me a chat, I'm going to respond to you, and I'll be happy, more than happy, to assist you. Thank you so much for your attention and I hope you have been able to learn from this just to show you my profile in case you want to send me a DM, right? So this is me on LinkedIn.